how can I create responsive design? And I know many of us have heard of responsive design, make your design responsive, make it responsive. But the truth is, you can't just have all the different screens being responsive the way you think it works. Now, there's something called breakpoints, and breakpoints allows you to create the different screens for your design, such as desktop which is for the web view you're going to have the tablet and then finally you're going to have the mobile phone which is used more than 50 percent of the time so this is what we call responsive design having all the different screens for these different breakpoints and now let me tell you you're not just going to design one screen and have that responsive for the rest of the designs all right it's not just going to start closing in on itself when a user sees it on web and then to just get into mobile. No, you would have to design these different screens. But there's something that can enable you work faster. And I will just show you. I don't think it makes a lot of difference, but it's going to help you in line with reshaping and replacing or, or repositioning your designs when you want to design for the different breakpoints. Now, you understand that um, when you're designing for web, let's say you have a design such as this, and then you have like a text by the side. Let's say this is for web, all right? And then you obviously would have like subtitle, all right? So let's say like this is for web, and then we have this. I'm putting them in auto layout because I work with auto layout a lot. All right, so we have this. Now, if you want to design this, if you want this to be responsive for mobile, all you need to do is just press this down and you have it responsive for mobile, right? But now, if you don't have this in the way I want to show you, then it may not, it may be a long walk for you to create responsivity or responsiveness for your designs. And to do this, I won't waste much of your time. Let's get right into it. So the first step is actually making all your designs in auto layout so we're going to design something and let's say we're going to be designing a mobile screen and we don't want to use a frame so we're going to use this particular design to design different elements that would make up a phone screen and then um, we see how responsive it can be so the first things I'm going to do is I'm going to get out the header um, the header text so I'm just going to enlarge this make this kind of 48 all right so we we'll say push notification and this is at 279 all right and then we can get out our sub header all right just have this over here somewhere around here I will drag this out a bit select both of them put them in auto layout all right I'll bring this frame select both of them put them in auto layout as well and so let's say this is for the web uh, we're going to change this to 64 all right and then I will extend this a bit and um, yeah so I'll extend this more so I'm doing it for web now extend it more and now to make this responsive all I'll need to do is select this guy and I'm going to come up here to where we have the resizing horizontal resizing click on it and choose fill container all right I'm going to do it for the text inside of it I'll do fill container and for this one I will do fill container now what that means is when I resize this it affects that text you can see the text becoming responsive on its own but that's not what we're aiming at now we're going to make this guy as well responsive so I'm going to select him and I'm going to choose fill container all right don't be worried about all these other guys I would select this other frame and this frame inside of it and I'll change that to fill container as well I would select this other one inside and I'll change that to fill container as well now this one is responsive you don't need to do this for images and icons all right images and icons don't do that for them all right so with that we can see how responsive this other guy is so if we're standing 
no matter how we're extending is going to be responsive all right so this is going to be the top of the screen i'm just going to grab another um shape over here i'll select it with this one i don't need to actually calculate it so i'll select it with the top just click on this shape imagine it's an image so we're just going to give it a radius of 24 px all right and then i'm going to come up here and click on fill container you see that line um, showing the red line so i'll just click on fill container it fills up the entire space and with this i can extend my auto layout so i'll just extend my auto layout to somewhere around i'll just type it in here one two hundred right and you see how our image is responsive these other augurs they are not responsive yet so all i need to do is come up here you can see it's on fixed that means when something is fixed you mean it should not go beyond this point so if we want it not to if we don't want it to be fixed all we need to do is just change this fixed to fill container and it's just responsive across it and then we we'll select this guy and we'll change the height to something like um, 100 all right this works for now we're going to just call this web and then it's time to give it a background color so i'll just choose white and then change this other guy i'm going to give it a stroke so let's just make the stroke green so that we can actually uh or let's make that black so we can actually see what we have going on all right so this is going to be the web all right and uh we can still extend this just simply by moving this out a bit and then uh we can add more text here but i don't want this to be too long so let's say this is the web now and uh just add one more to this guy and that should do select this and give it a proximity of around 75 yep that's it all right so this is web now we want to design for um ipad all right to do this for ipad all i'll just do is duplicate this so i'll just call this tablet and then the tablet is going to be 800 or 810 so i'm just going to type in 800 for people that use framer you would be familiar with 810 so i'll just type in 810 in the width and you can see it's it's responding actually it's <laughs> responding all right um there's one more thing i like to do i'll select this guy and change the proximity from 177 to let's say 50 all right and i'll do the same here so type in 50 so that we have it or let's use 30 for this one or let's just make it constant consistent so we we'll use 20 and we we'll also use 20 for the web all right and there we have these guys and um, the next thing i'll do is for the mobile so i'll duplicate this and then the mobile would be 375 this is the mobile now it's responsive don't worry very soon it will be responsive we're going to change the margin it can't be this big so the margin we're going to change that to 20 that's the left and right horizontal padding and then we'll change this guy's positioning to vertical and that is it guys that is basically how you can turn your designs very quickly using auto layout you can see i didn't have to like design everything from scratch anymore i just had to ensure that i was using the right elements and that has to do with fill container and um, auto layout so with these two you can effortlessly design across all the breakpoints easily without having to do so much of redesigning again from scratch i'll see you guys very very soon bye, -bye.